Ultra Low Temperature Freezer or ULT Freezer is one of the main tools used in many research laboratories as well as many branches of science such as molecular biology and life science. It also represents an essential device for vaccine transportation. A ULT freezer is in fact necessary when it comes to protecting important and delicate biological samples. These freezers are able to reach an incredible temperature of negative 86 degrees Celsius or negative 123 Fahrenheit, which is a very low temperature when compared to standard refrigerators that come down to approximately negative 18 Celsius or zero Fahrenheit. For over a decade, Jaws company has been providing industrial spare parts and offers a wide selection of industrial freezers, refrigerators, refrigeration units, and chillers from leading producers. There are many types of ULT freezers and they come in different sizes. The most common ones are upright ULT freezers, which is also the most practical, and chest ULT freezers. Let's take a look at the characteristics. ULT freezer capacity may vary, and inside, there can be drawers to store samples. Each drawer is hermetically closed. In this way, when a sample is taken from a drawer, the other drawers can maintain their temperature. Between the inner and outer wall is a polyurethane insulation, which is essential for the ULT freezer in order to maintain the low temperature. The door has the same polyurethane insulation as well. Furthermore, quadruple step silicone seal provides perfect tightness. In addition, ultra freezers are equipped with programmable logic controllers, PLC, that allow the control of freezing parameters. Now, let's see how these refrigerators actually work. Here's how the coolant flows. High pressure on coolant decreases by passing through the capillary tube. This simple action involves significant changes in the coolant. As a matter of fact, by reducing the pressure, it lowers the temperature and therefore its boiling point. In this way, the refrigerant can evaporate at a lower temperature. This is possible thanks to the thermodynamics phenomenon called Joule-Thompson effect. These new characteristics permit the coolant to absorb the heat in the refrigerator, achieving the required temperature by passing through the evaporator. The coolant now absorbs all the heat inside the freezer, lowering the temperature to the desired level. By absorbing the heat, it evaporates without changing its temperature. Now the coolant passes through the compressor, which raises the pressure to its initial value and raising consequently its temperature. The next step is now to pass through the condenser, which liberates the heat from the surroundings and converts vapor to liquid state so that the temperature will reach a normal level. This cycle is repeated. This is a perfect example a vapor compression refrigeration cycle in single stage, which is very common in standard refrigerators and fridges. A cascade refrigeration cycle is a two-stage process where there are two consecutive cooling circuits so that the second stage lowers the temperature from the first in a continuous loop until the required level. The low temperature system second stage works exactly like the single-stage system we just saw, by releasing the heat using the evaporator. However, instead of a condenser, the freezer is equipped with a heat exchanger cooled down by the coolant's evaporation in the high-temperature system during the first stage. Eventually, the high-temperature system that transports the full thermal input transfers the heat to a condenser. Basically, 
It's like two single stage systems were connected in a way that the evaporator of the first stage gets cooled by the condenser of the second one, facilitating the condensation of the compressed gas in the second circuit. ULT freezers are essential pieces of equipment in many laboratories, especially those that require the safe and secure long-term frozen storage of materials such as vaccines or temperature-sensitive biological samples like DNA, RNA, virus, or proteins. The main problem of a ULT freezer is high energy consumption to achieve such low temperatures. This involves also the transport of temperature-sensitive biological samples and vaccines that need extremely cold temperatures to be efficacious. That's why scientists are designing a technology to create ULT freezers that can keep the temperature low even with no electricity, allowing to reach the most remote parts of the world. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find our next project on our website, jawscompany.com.